until we've made it to Saddle Mountain. This is a really neat BLM area. It's this huge, vast area with some beautiful mountains, really rugged. There's plenty of hills and stuff to go and explore. It's really a nice place. Saddle Mountain BLM area is one of our favorite places to stay when traveling through Arizona. It's just this huge mountain here. It's formation, it's sculpture, it's just really impressive. It's a good place to just relax, roam around the hills, and enjoy a day of relaxation. The freeway is far, far over there at the base of that mountain. Far, far away. The girls and I are camped out here. Got a nice little place, just hanging out. Tomorrow we're moving on and uh, working our way slowly towards home in another couple months. Well, I think I've reached my limit on the road. I feel like I got a stomach ulcer or something because the weather is just getting shittier and shittier down here. It's like one week someone will say, hey, it's great up here. And then the next week, oh, it's crappy. You know, snow, rain, highs in the 30s, lows in the 20s, then bounces back up to the 40s and 50s and down to the 30s. It's like the world has gone nuts. The weather's gone way off helter-skelter. And this weather is what I left to come down to. Nice weather. And it's come down to meet me. And doing all my routes I can think of to get north back towards home. Um, the weather just sucks going north. You might get lucky and go through the one area and have a nice day. And then the next day, it'd be just crap. So I've been on the road for a little over six months now. And, you know, I was going to go to my submarine reunion. But, God, my stomach is all in knots. My back hurts. I think I'm just going to have to pass by. Because I am just stressed out, I think. So... That's what I'm thinking of right now, is heading home. I'm somewhere down here in, uh, I think it's Earp, California, on the Columbia. No, Columbia. I keep thinking of Columbia. It's the Colorado River, BLM place, right on the river. Like, if I back up any farther, I'd be in the river. But the weather is just shitty. I could go home and have this kind of weather for weeks, months. It's not what I drove all the way down here to find. And I can't go to Mexico to get real good weather. So the heck with it. I'm burned out. Uh, I'm just going to throw the towel in and say the weather beat me. And just head home. Get some rest. See my doctor. And uh, just plan much, much shorter trips next time. So that's what I'm thinking of sitting here with the girls. We'll just wait to see where I go from here. I might stay here a couple of days and kind of formulate my plan on to which way I'm really going to zoom home. So wait and see. Stay tuned. The adventure continues. Well, this is the part of RV life that's not pleasant. It's when you get sick. Uh, I've been hit by a bout of high blood pressure. Spiking at 179 over 102. And uh, vertigo. And I talked to my doctor and was able to get a immediate emergency supply of uh, blood pressure pills and uh, 
I have decided to just go to heck home. I think uh, I've had enough of this road life. I'm tired of the southwest, southeast, and uh, I just want to get home and get well. I'm going to skip the submarine reunion next month in Las Vegas because I need to get my health <coughs> and mental stability back. We spent a night on the California side of the Colorado in a little BLM campground right on the Colorado. Any closer we'd be in the Colorado. And uh, now we're spending the night at uh, Peggy Sue's 50s Diner, which we've used many times on our trips through uh, this part of the California area. I noticed that once we left Arizona, and cross that line into the Republic of California, the gas prices jumped two dollars a gallon. Anyway, uh, we're gonna kick back, have a good meal or two here at Peggy Sue's, and relax before we head out for another long day tomorrow, heading north to home. I tell you, They've been having some flooding here. Signs everywhere. The washes are full of water. And uh, the clouds look like they have a lot left in them. So, uh, yeah, the trip's over for me. <clears throat> I'm not feeling well, but I, I have the drive to get home so I can get better. And... Uh, the dogs will be glad to get home. I'm sure they're tired of living in this little compartment. But, uh, yeah, these are some of the times when uh, living in a little RV, Class B especially, is not much fun. And uh, being out of state, you run into all kind of problems with your insurance. And... Uh, I didn't want to go to the emergency room or the paramedics because I'm sure those guys would have put me in the hospital for a day, impounded my RV, put my dogs in kennel who knows where, under who knows what care, and it would have cost me $1,000 for that ridiculous craziness. So I've taken care of myself long enough to know that I don't need all that crap Hell, my mom was walking around with blood pressure over 200 and surprised the paramedics to death. They couldn't believe she was alive and walking around with over 200 uh, blood pressure. So, maybe it's just my family's built stronger. But when the time comes to kick the bucket, we don't linger. We just kick the bucket. So, that's one good thing to know. So, I'm waiting for my buddy to catch up with me. And uh, we'll relax, check the charts, decide how far we're going to go each day. Hopefully we can get home in three more days. I've done it once in 18 hours. And that was from, uh, I think from here, straight, driving straight, 18 hours from... Uh, Yermo to uh, Tacoma. That's a long day. Long day. I don't think I can do that now. That was a couple of years ago. So, as always, the girls and I wish you happy trails and woof woof. <laughs>